Hi, I'm Stella from Cracking Glass and I want to show you the processes I've gone through to make the stained glass window of the Black Miner. First of all, I did a drawing of the design at a small size and tried out all the different colours that I wanted to use. Next, I enlarged it into a full size sketch and made two copies so that I've got pattern pieces to draw around, ready to cut the glass. Now I'm starting to cut out the glass using a glass cutter, some cut runners and some grazing pliers. I've drawn round the pattern pieces onto the glass and now I'm cutting them out. I cut the glass edge to edge put pressure on to break it. Follow the line carefully. Get that gritty sound. pressure on the glass again. Pull the glass off. Usually it follows the line. And then I start building up the pattern. Where does that go? <laughs> oh, there. There it is. Like a jigsaw. So the panel's starting to take shape and gradually building it up. Okay, so the miner is mostly cut out now, so I'm ready to move on to the next stage, which is grinding. So I've got a piece here, and I'm going to use it on the glass grinder. We grind the edges to make them, to buff them up, to make a good surface to add the foil to, and also to make the pieces fit well. I need to do this with all the pieces. Grind it, rinse it, dry it, and fit it back in. Now that all the pieces of glass for the miner have been ground, I'm moving on to the next process, which is adding some detail in pen. This is a special pen which can be baked in the oven to make it stay on so it kind of fires it onto the glass. So I'm going to put some buttons on this jacket using a light box to show me how the colours are going to come out. Um, I've got the hand here so that's the reflection, the shadow where he's holding the gunpowder bag. I'm going to just do a little suggestion of fingers for his hand in his pocket and this is the lid of the gunpowder container. Um, I'm going to use an actual proper circle because it gives me a much better shape than drawing it by hand. So I leave these to dry and then bake them in the oven so that they're fixed onto the glass. Stick them on my baking tray, ready to go in the oven. So 
So the miner's making good progress now. I've got all the bits back out of the oven and all nicely fused on. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm in process of adding copper foil around all the edges. This is because all these pieces are going to be soldered together, so we need to put a metal edge to, to take the solder because it won't stick to the glass. So the copper foil comes in a reel. I'm going to take a piece of glass and wrap foil around the edges. So it needs to go around the edges and a little bit of an overlap as well. sticky foil. And I just have to line it up as evenly as I can. All the way around. A little bit fiddly. Some of the pieces I'm going to solder, um, solder together and some of them I'm going to use lead which is the traditional way of making like church windows would have been made with lead to hold the glass together so these more intricate details i'm doing with the copper and then the sky i'm going to do with pieces of lead so it's a bit of a mixed media piece Okay, so I've got foil all around the edges now, and then I go around with a stick, a little wooden stick, and just polish it down so there's no air bubbles or creases, and then flatten it both sides. Um, at this point I'm also doing a little bit of detail like on the lamp, these lines here, I've done extra lines of foil to give a little bit of detail and I'm going to do the same thing with the shoes, I've just started doing that with a little bit of lead there um, on the dark colours where I couldn't put detail on by painting with black. Okay today what I'm doing is soldering the piece together, so first of all I put flux all over all the seams and that helps the solder to stick to the copper. Next, using a soldering iron, I put blobs of solder to tack the pieces together. Next, I rest on the solder and add more if necessary and make a nice seam. The solder sticks to the copper but it won't stick to the glass, it's too shiny. I took the panel to show to the volunteers from the Black Miners Museum. Then I showed them the skills to cut the glass out so that they could build up the orange border. They cut out several pieces during the session and then they also learnt how to grind them. And throughout the session they got all the pieces cut out and a few of the minerals too. Okay, so now I've soldered the miner together, but I've decided to do some with lead work, which is the more traditional way of working. So this outer edge here 
is all made out of lead cane. So lead cane is like an H section where you can slot the glass in to either side of it. So I've used that round the edge and I've also used it for the sunbeams to give these lovely nice straight lines. Now for the final bit I'm doing the border which again is a combination of the soldering work that I've been doing before with the leading. So I've made the minerals by cutting out a piece of glass the colour of each of the different minerals and then I've given it a green surround which suggests that it comes from the earth. So I'm going to be alternating like here. I've got the silver here, the little silver jewel, and I use the lead and line it up, measure it, and it has to be a bit short because I'm going to put a thick lead around the outside edge. And then I cut it with a lead knife. And then that piece can slot in round the glass. And then the next piece of glass is going to be the lettering. So that's the silver Mexico. So I'm going to build up round the edges like that. So that there's a kind of framework made out of lead. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a little bit about the soldering the lead. Um, we've seen before with the Tiffany how I soldered along all the joins and covered all the copper foil. With the lead, you just solder at the joins. So for each of those joins, I cleaned it with the wire wool. Then I used a flux, which is tallow and then I soldered onto each join to pin it together. So it kind of makes like a framework. So I've done that all over the whole piece and I've put a thicker lead around the outside as well, soldered that on. So it's all held together now. What I need to do now is finish off folding down the outside edges. Okay, what I'm doing now is opening up the edges of the lead ready to take the putty. So I'm using the oyster knife to open up the little space to put putty into. The putty I've mixed up is ordinary linseed putty mixed with black grate polish. I'm just going to use a little bit of that, I find it easier with fingers, and just push it into the edges. So this framework, which at the moment is quite rattly, becomes more secure and it kind of cushions it and in a traditional window it would also make it weatherproof. And now the window is finally finished we get the chance to see it with the light through. <laughs> 